Rosie and I chose this lifestyle because we want to consume less. We both think that um, Western civilization is destroying the earth by consuming it. Um, and so we try to use less energy. We try to grow our own food and reduce the amount of water that we use. I love working outside and I love growing things and I also love making things. I'm an engineer by profession and uh, this house is a huge machine so I've really enjoyed building this machine but I have to say it is hard work. It's a full-time job for me providing the wood, growing things in the garden, maintaining the place, building it. So you have to be prepared for hard work to have this lifestyle. I work part-time for the NCT, which is the Euro Europe's biggest parenting charity, but um, also I'm here, so I'm using the energy free during the day, and I can use my physical energy, which I think at my stage in life I need to do more wood splitting or uh, work in the wood, um, actual physical work, um, so those, that balances out really well for me. We've been very keen to integrate the energy production, the solar energy, with the way that we grow food, because we want to grow most of our own food. And so, um, with the solar gain on the sunny side of the house, that's a growing area and it's also a way of feeding energy into the house. The water from the house flows down to the reed bed and the reed bed goes on down into the growing area and that was only possible because of the slope of the land. So that's another important part of uh, what we have here. One of the other good things about this house is there's doors to the outside in every downstairs room and that means that we can live outside and inside very easily. It, it works very well and it draws um, energy and sunshine into the house. This place is a bungalow in the middle of a load of other bungalows and um, it's very unusual. We chose it because it has half an acre of garden, because it has lots of space and because it has a few features um, which have made life easier for us. So this is a good example of how things integrate together. We built this um, greenhouse on this side, the sunny side of the house, out of recycled materials. Um, it's a growing space. You can see how well the tomatoes are doing here. But it also traps the sun, which enables us to take heat through into the house through these windows. Um, there's a vent down the bottom which also draws air into the house, um, which is pre-warmed. The other unusual feature here is that we store the uh, solar heat by drawing the air from the top of the greenhouse down, passing it under the floor through piles of rocks. Then the heat will come out during the night and um, keep the plants warm. So down in this direction we've got a well which we dug out with one of the volunteers which uh, come and stay here, woofers. We've got chickens over on the right here. Um, they've got a nice big area of grass that they can uh, go in. And then further down we've got a polytunnel and a vegetable area. Up on the left here we've got another set of solar panels which are on top of the workshop. This is the reed bed which purifies the grey water from the house. Um, by the way that we purify the water um, we save about half of the water that um, we would normally use. So our use is about 70 litres a day compared with the average of 140 litres a day. But we also have water to make our food grow, our vegetables grow. So the water from the reed bed goes down into the vegetable garden along with water from the well and water from the rainwater storage. So by having a polytunnel we can have salad to eat every day of the year. So our energy costs here are close to zero. We have two sets of uh, solar panels. One set was a set that I built. They feed into batteries which supply the house. Um, the other set we've put up recently on the workshop and uh, they feed into the grid and we actually get payment from the government for those. The other part of our energy equation derives from the solar water panel on the roof and the wood stoves. We use wood for cooking, we use wood for heating the house, running the central heating and heating the water in the winter. We've reduced the amount of energy that we need to generate by insulating, draft stripping, um, insulating under the floor with this recycled insulation that we got from the industrial estate, crawling it out underneath the floor, which was a horrible job, fitting this up. And um, we've also insulated on top, all the roof space is full of insulation, and we've insulated on top of the flat roofs as well. 
The other things that make this place special for me uh, are that we're right bang next door to an industrial estate, which might not be everybody's idea of a good spot, but it means that I can cycle around the industrial estate every week and look for things that I can scavenge. One of the things that's amazing to me is how much um, we've kind of integrated in the community. So we get a lot of people bringing us things to recycle that's their rubbish, that's very useful to us, from vegetable peelings to turf to old bits of wood and all sorts of paving stones. Um, but also we've been so lucky. So um, when we needed a new um, chimney for this uh, cooker, we found one in a skip. And just serendipity has been fantastic.